goes from, you know, being insulted to being the one who's insulting, um, doing a very, very offensive Asian accent, uh, to, you know, taking on characters and playing the bad cop in a scene that Dina and I are, uh, you know, shaking down a potential shoplifter, um, to being the cheerleader. You know, I really feel like Amy, uh, she, she's, she's not a very over-the-top character, but she's the character in the cast that is willing to kind of be whatever people need her to be to get her support. And and that's why it's so fun to play her, because, yeah, she can be, you know, uh, there is a trip to a, a, a gun shooting range, you know, and we learn, you know, we learn a little bit more about Amy with every episode, and kind of, it's hard to really categorize uh, uh, who she is, because we just, she's got a lot of different facets. In the office, but Superstore is its own life and and you know we we just we just want people to watch the show and we want it to find its audience we have no control over how many people watch it you know we, we we're under no delusion that everybody will love our show you know you can't be everything to everyone it is what it is and we truly believe that you can you can you can stay true to your vision make the show you're proud of and hope that it finds its audience and that's I think I think we feel like we've done that and we're really proud of it and really excited for people to find it. Are we going to see guest stars from my group Daddy appearing on the show? Oh God, I hope so. Half my cast has already Half of my cast has already visited me on set. You can check out my Instagram. Um, <laughs> but yes, I mean, I, I don't know. I, all of them would be wonderful. I feel like the Superstore is such a great opportunity for guest stars and for cameos. Right. And this year... Um, we've had some wonderful guest stars, people whose names and faces you might not recognize, but who in a moment have a moment to just shine and, and be funny and build the world out. And like Justin was saying, the show is very much inside the store, so you have to, you have to um, indicate that there's a bigger world through these characters that come in and out. And we've talked a lot about people we would love to see come into the store. And in real life, celebrities do walk into super stores. Absolutely. And you know, and and in you know, in real life, everyone's got to get toothpaste and and toilet paper. And so there is a lot of opportunity there. And you know, we hope we get to play a lot with that. Did, did we have any other guest stars? On? Did we of um of, of notes? Yes, we um, had um. We had Natasha uh, Yeah, Happy Endings um, Eliza Coop. Uh. Um, and just, you know, just really great uh, people who are who know comedy and are great at comedy come in, do one or two scenes, kill it, leave you wanting more. Like, there's, there's so much opportunity for that in the show. We did at the beginning, oh, sorry, but we, at the very beginning of the season, we, um, we wrote two generic sides, one for a generic employee and one for a customer. And then we told our casting directors, uh, go out to every funny actor you can think of who's not a huge celebrity who we might not be aware of and just have them read one of them and we had all these amazing auditions of funny people and then every now and then when we needed a fun customer or a fun employee we'd know what those people's strengths are and we'd write a role for them and I think that's something we want to keep doing. It's about a working class group of people and ugly video was about a working class family. Is there something about that Absolutely. I mean, you know, Yes, I, I think that at, you know I come from an immigrant family, working class family. Um, it, it's so much fun to play. I, actually, I've never played a lawyer. Well, no, that's not true. I played a lawyer on The Good Wife. <laughs> I just remembered. i you know it's fun to play all kinds of roles, but I think my idol is Norman Lear, and I think that we all share that. The, the producers of this show share that magic spot in television where you can entertain and be funny and at the same time be saying something relevant that matters and is and is you know what storytelling is all about is making people feel seen and I think that giving a platform a comedy representing working-class people as smart as humorous as alive um, as a detective or a you know spy um, is wonderful and I think people respond to it you know I think that's why people love Cheers I think that's why people loved Roseanne I think that's why people loved All in the Family there's so many more Americans who can relate to a character that's just struggling to get by than with the you know the um, the superstar FBI detective I'm not bashing those shows I'm just saying there's room for all of it
Being that you mentioned Norman Lear is one of your idols, I think you all need a book signing and bring Norman Lear on for his recent book in the superstore. They all are you Norman's publicist? Oh, What's happening? Man. We love Norman. Oh my gosh, we'd have Norman any day. We love him. Yeah, that's I'm nervous for him to just get the script and start giving me notes. <laughs> I know. Right. He would probably get pretty good really notes. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Well, being as it's an election year, I'm quite involved in voter registration, mainly through the organization Voto Latino, to engage and register young Latinos to vote and pay attention and be a part of the political process. And um, at the moment, I'm very um, involved in that. I'm, I'm involved with a number of organizations on women's issues and education issues. Um, but I would say at the moment, my focus is uh, this election and the issues that matter to uh, young people, the issues that matter to women, the issues that matter to Latinos, which are basically the issues that matter to all Americans, and and uh, you know that's where my focus is right now. Yeah. Any other questions? We're good. Best of luck. I think we're Thank all going to see you guys on the road, Demi. That's yeah. the question about that. <laughs> Thank you. So, Thank you so much. much. Let's see. Sure.